Thank you for purchasing the Lockmaster Swing Gate Opener. When correctly installed and used, the Lockmaster will give you years of reliable service and let you enjoy your life. This video provides an overview of how to install your swing gate opener. It is intended as a visual aid only. It cannot be used instead of the user's manual. The user's manual includes additional important safety information that must be followed in order to avoid injury to pets or persons and damage to property. Watch this video and read the entire user's manual carefully before beginning the installation. The Lockmaster Swing Gate Opener comes with installation hardware which is suitable for gates opening into the property by the pull to open method. If your gates open out from the property, you will need to purchase additional push to open brackets from your dealer. The Lockmaster can make the gates stop and reverse if an obstruction is encountered when closing. The close force can be adjusted to meet your needs. The Lockmaster also has an adjustable auto-close feature which automatically closes your gate within the time limit you set. The auto-close has been set to 30 seconds in factory. Before you begin your installation, it is important to know that the Lockmaster gate opener can also be solar powered with the additional purchase of Lockmaster solar panel kits. If you have slide gates or large industrial gates or you need other access control systems, contact your dealer to check the availability of gate openers and accessories. We also recommend that you install the wireless keypad outside the gate in order to enter the gate conveniently without the need of a remote control. Check the parts list in the user's manual to be sure you have all the components and tools you require. Before you begin the installation, your gates must be in proper working condition, level and swinging freely on well lubricated hinges. Ball bearing hinges are better for heavy gates. Your gate leaves should be installed on fence posts that are firmly secured in the ground. Now we will demonstrate how to install the mounting hardware on your first gate. Place the post pivot bracket between the post brackets and align the centre holes. Insert the M10 bolt into the centre holes and use the diameter 10 washer and nut to secure. Do not tighten the nut all the way at this time because you will need to make adjustments later. Firstly, use a tape measure to measure an approximate distance between the post bracket and gate axle. This is referred to as distance B in the installation manual. Read the chapter Determining the Position of Mounting Hardware in the installation manual and locate the diagram which lists the data for opening angle and distance in the series. Using the chart and the distance B, find the appropriate distance for A. When both A and B are determined, your maximum gate opening angle is determined too. You may adjust your gate opening angle by selecting new distances for A and B. Use the emergency release key to unlock the opener. You can stretch or retract the moving rod by hand to pull or push the gate. Now attach the post bracket assembly and the gate bracket to the ends of the opener arm using the clevis pins and hair clip pins. Secure the clevis pins with the hair clip pins. With the gate in its open position, hold the opener arm level and temporarily clamp the post bracket assembly to the gate post and gate bracket to the gate in their approximate positions. A minimum of one inch of clearance between the opener and the gate in the opening positions is required. Use the carpenter's level to level the opener. Tighten the C clamp so as to fix the post bracket assembly and gate bracket. Now close the gate and determine whether you have a minimum of one inch clearance when the gate is closed. If not, rotate the post pivot bracket to a position that will give the required clearance while still allowing one of the post pivot bracket holes to line up with the post bracket hole. Now, return the gate and opener to the open position and recheck the clearance in both the open and closed positions. 
This clearance is very important for automatic gate safety as well as for the life of your gate opener. Recheck the gate and post bracket positions and opener arm level. Mark the holes in the middle of the bracket slots so there will be some room for adjustment when permanently mounting the brackets. Remove the opener arm and brackets from the gate and fence post. Drill the holes in the fence post as marked. Use the 200mm length bolts, nuts and washers to attach the post bracket assembly. Use the 75mm length bolts, nuts and washers to attach the gate brackets. Cut off the ends of the bolts extending beyond the tightened nuts. This completes the installation of the first gate opener's hardware. If your gate opener is a dual actuator, you will need to install the second actuator on the other gate leaf in the same manner. Reattach the opener arms to the post bracket assemblies and gate brackets using the clevis pins and hairpin clips. Make sure the openers are level and adjust the post bracket assemblies as necessary. The post can be cylinder wooden columns, square wooden columns or a concrete brick wall. For a concrete brick wall, use concrete anchors for opener installation. Open the control box by removing the four screws. Mount the control box to a solid surface using screws or other hardware depending on the surface. The control box should be mounted at least three feet above the ground and at least three feet from an AC power source to avoid frequency interference. Connect opener power cables by following the user's manual. Please note, the power cables are not provided with the opener. You are required to prepare power cables long enough as well as a cable plug subject to on-site installation. Connect the power cables to the control box power input terminals and plug in. You may also contact your dealer to order the power cables. The remote control has to be programmed for operating the opener before you set the control board. In order to set the closed limit easily, you may turn over the opener and insert the manual release key again to lock the opener. There are two limit switches in each opener actuator. The one close to the motor is called near end switch or open limit switch. The other one located near the moving rod is called far end switch or closed limit switch. The near end switch comes from the factory already fixed. However, if you need to adjust it, remove the limit screw and move the switch slightly. The desired closed position is reached by adjusting the far end switch, which can be moved over a fairly large range. Now, let's begin the first adjustment. First, let's check the closed position. Oh, it's not in the desired position. Let's try again. Sometimes you have to move the limit switch and repeat the steps until you are satisfied with the closed position. Okay, now we have the desired closed position. Turn the opener over again and replace the clevis pins and hairpin clips. Press the remote control button to allow the gates to operate a full cycle. All of the data in the control board are set as an average value when the opener arrives from the factory. These settings can be adjusted as per your personal requirements. Refer to the user's manual for the adjustments. Now replace the cover of the control box. Now your Lockmaster gate opener is installed and ready for use. Before use, you should test the obstruction sensitivity stall force and reverse function in order to ensure the gate opener is safe to use. With proper care and maintenance, it will provide years of dependable service. Keep your user's manual for future reference. It contains maintenance information and a troubleshooting guide. We offer a full line of accessories for your Lockmaster. These great accessories are available at most dealers. The external receiver can be programmed to operate with up to 250 remote controls. 
The Lockmaster Automatic Gate Lock secures your gate like a deadbolt secures your front door. It also provides extra stability for gates, especially those gates longer than 8 feet. It automatically locks and unlocks when the gate opens and closes. It provides peace of mind for your gate and is highly recommended if you have animals or live in areas affected by strong winds. Some installations may require installing a backup battery to provide cycle storage in case of power failure. We also offer the battery box to protect your battery from weather conditions. The battery box is available at your dealer. The solar panel is beneficial because it provides cycle storage where AC power is unavailable. The 30 watt solar panel and 12 AH backup battery kit are enough to meet the service requirements in most areas. The safety photo cell will provide double safety protection. It can be installed in a location outside the gate. When the infrared beam is interrupted by an obstruction such as an animal or, or a child, the gate will stop moving as to avoid injuring them. Please ensure you cancel the photocell function on the control board if you do not install the photocell device. Otherwise, the gate opener will fail to close the gate. To access your property without the need of a remote control, use your Lockmaster wireless keypad. The wireless keypad is easy to program, so you can change the security codes as often as you like. The push button allows you to open and close the gate from your house or anywhere on your property. It wires directly into the control board. To allow your vehicle to exit the property without hand operation, you can install the Lockmaster loop detector. The loop detector is buried in the middle of the driveway. When your car goes past the loop coil detector and approaches the gate, a signal is sent to the gate opener's control box and the gate opens automatically. These great accessories are available anytime from your dealer. Thanks for purchasing the Lockmaster Swing Gate Opener. With proper care and maintenance, we are sure you will enjoy it for many years to come. By the way, please feel free to share this video with your neighbours when they stop by to check your swing gate opener. There are different kinds of combinations available to meet customers' personal demands and they make excellent gifts for your family and friends. We believe the customer is our first priority and we provide outstanding customer service. So please, if you have any questions about your opener, please contact your local dealer.